Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to make an anime style eye. It's a pretty simple process. We're just going to use a couple of spheres to make the sclera portion of the eye, which is this white section, and to make the iris. And we're going to use a simple texture for the iris, and then use some coloring for the texture for the sclera. And then here where the lens, is we will um, use a different material and make it transparent so that it is see-through so we can see through it anyway um so i'm going to go ahead and get started i'm going to start with the sear and i'm going to leave it the same size as what we had started with you can see that there and i'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in the x-axis so now it's facing forward so that i can grab these faces and pull them out a little bit to give sort of a lens shape here in the front. And once I have them all selected, I'm going to rotate around just to make sure that I didn't select anything extra. Sometimes when I'm clicking a lot like that, you can accidentally select some faces on the far side that you can't see. All right, with that, I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Give it a little bit of shape like that. And then I'm going to push down on the control button and right click on my mouse. And you can see that with this menu, I have some choices. In this case, one of them is to shrink the selection. And when I do that, you can see it reduces the number of faces I have um, by one row. And then I can pull out just a little bit more, do the same thing, and then pull it out just a little bit further on the front there. It kind of gives me my general shape of the lens. And now what I'm going to do is with this selected this is the area that i'm going to turn into my transparent area and here is where i will have the rest of the sclera so for my lens in the front so what i'm going to do is kind of line it up so i can do a marquee selection while i'm in the face mode doing a very good job there there we go and right off about there right click and hold assign new material and in this case i've already have a material that i'm using but i'm just going to go ahead and because if i went down to existing material you can see i have a scalera texture right there um, but i'm going to go ahead and go through the process of showing you um, how to do this so assign new material i'm in using an arnold and then an ai standard surface and now i have that here if it doesn't show up in your tabs or automatically pop in here what we're going to do is we're going to select it up here my ai standard surface and i'm just going to go ahead and leave it this white color here anyway so but that is where you can go in and you can make adjustments to the color in case you wanted it to be less bright white now i'm going to add a new material for the front section here select that and it looks like i missed a couple down here and select these and that's about the same size as the rest of the eye so i'm now going to again right click and hold assign new material again i'm going to make this another arnold standard surface and this time i'm going to go down here instead of base or specular i'm going to go into transmission and I'm going to increase the weight. And as I do that all the way up, you can see that it becomes transparent. And now I can see inside of the eyeball that I've created. So now what we need to do is we need to make the iris. I'm going to use just another sphere. I'm going to move it out here so I can work with it in front of the other eye. I'm going to also rotate it 90 degrees. Bring it up a little bit. 
bit. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to squish it down a little bit. Give me some room to work with it here. Something like that. And I'm going to start selecting all the way down into the center. Probably start right here at the very edge here. Okay, so I'm going to go to face. Select the outer ring by clicking and then double clicking on the one next to it. Click, double click. And I'm going to get rid of the manipulator tool there by hitting Q on the keyboard on the keyboard. Again, select those. And now what I need to do is individually select these. For whatever reason I can't seem to select them all at once. You could have probably done a marquee selection and it may have reduced the number of clicks, but we already started doing it this way, so we'll just keep going. Now I want to make sure that I've selected only the objects I wanted. I have. I'm going to use W on my keyboard to get the move uh, tool back. I'm going to push it in a little bit until I kind of get this upper ring starting to collapse back a little bit on itself. Probably right about there. And now I'm going to use that same method I did before. I'm going to use my control, right click. So the control button, right click, and I'm going to go to shrink selection and shrink it. And push it back a little bit more, slowly like this. Do it again. It's a little bit redundant, but with practice, it happens pretty quickly. And basically, I'm just making sort of like a bowl, just kind of a giant bowl. Push it back on itself. And kind of like that. Now we have the general shape of the eye, but we're going to have to, or the iris, but we're going to have to put it in place and shrink it down but I think what we're going to do first is apply the texture I have a brown iris actually I have several different irises that I found off the internet um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to object mode select my object and right click again assign new material I'm going to select Arnold again AI standard surface and for this one here, now what I'm going to do is I select the standard surface I just created. And I'm going to name this one. I should have named the other ones as well, but uh, I'm going to call this one iris underscore two to keep track of which one it is. I could have called it left maybe, maybe L for left. And hit enter. And then here under base, right here where it says color, under the base, we're going to click on the little flag there it brings up this create render node I'm going to select file and you can see it changed the color and I have this little folder here now and I'm going to select this PNG at the top which is my brown iris similar to the one I have there and when I do that you can see that it comes out really kind of messed up <laughs> doesn't look anything like the other one and it's really simple to fix I'm going to go to UV and select planar so under your UV tab under your modeling you want the UV tab and select planar and when you do that you actually have to have the object selected and it helps try that again there we go and you see it makes this little square box and it lines up my UV but it also puts it on the back and if that bugs you there is a way to remove it by going into the UV editor And if you take a look at the UV editor here, I scroll out a little bit. Basically what's happened here is it's placed my texture over the top of 
the um, picture that I have, my my it placed my material, my shell, my UV over the top of my picture of the iris, and it's the squished version of it, and it's all one piece still. What I can do is I can go into edge mode in here, select the outer edge by double clicking on it, and it selects the entire outer edge, and I can hit cut. And now it basically has cut a seam around that portion of it. I can right click, select UV shell, and hit W on my keyboard. And I'm going to shrink this down a little bit so we can see what's going on behind it. We want to make sure that we select the front one, not the back one. So I'm going to pull this one off to the side. And that one is most likely the back one. Let's, let's double check. It is. If I move this one off, you can see that I start to lose the texture on the front surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this one. I'm just going to hit delete. It gets rid of it. You can see that now the back has no iris texture on it, just the front. And that's only if it really bugs you. Once we put it inside the eyeball, it's not going to be seen anyway, so it's not really a big deal. All right, so now we've got our texture and we've got our iris written, uh, made up. We have our eyeball with the lens. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this down and move it into where the eye is. We're going to center it and everything. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull it back in there, kind of get things lined up. Kind of center it a little bit. And we can fine tune it once we get everything to scale. Now I'm going to hit the R key and I'm going to use, see how we have the square boxes that are connected to our manipulator and then we have these floating boxes. Those represent the planes that we could pull this in and it would maintain scale within that plane. And I want to maintain it in the Y scale for this, for the object. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to just slowly move it inward until it gets to about the size I want it to be. And again, I may have to uh, fine tune the adjustment of everything. And I may have it too far back or too far forward. So we need to make sure that you see how we have this white lip up here. We want to make sure that we get everything lined up as much as possible. forward a little bit. And it's just barely breaking through, so I'm going to put down just a little bit more. And that should work okay. Click off of it. Now, one thing that hasn't been done with this is it hasn't been smooth, so I'm going to hit 3. I'm going to select both of them by doing a marquee select and I'm going to hit three and it smooths everything out. And that sometimes affects the way that your um, surface of your iris is on your eye and it may break through again so you may have to rescale it. You also see that my um, pupil is very large right now. So we can leave it that way or we can go in and select it using the outliner. And this is my Sclera 2, so I'm going to rename this sphere. It's set. It looks like I missed the other one. <laughs> All right, Sclera 2. And this is the iris, so I'm going to call this iris 2 or iris left, but I'll just call it two for now. And what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit through the lens of the eye and go to the edge mode so that I've actually got the iris selected. And having some fun there. So one thing we could do instead 
Um, since that's not working out so well, let's go back to our object mode, select the outer surface here, and if I hit Control H, it makes it disappear. So now it's not visible. I can select my iris and now go to edge mode. Double click this outer circle here, hold the shift button and double click the inner one. And again, using this plane tool, in this case, it's the yellow one this time. I'm going to select it and I'm gonna pull it inward just a little bit and shrink down the way the size of the iris, give it a little bit, uh, or the size of the pupil rather, give the pupil a little bit more uh, realistic look. I'm gonna go to object mode, select off of it, just to kind of see how it looks. Now, two ways to bring, several ways to bring that uh, um, sclera back. I could just select it here in my outliner. You can also go to display and go to show, and you can also do a show last hidden, which is control shift H. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to select it there, and now I have it back, and you can see I have my eye. So if I render it, there's going to be a problem, and I'll show you what that is. I'm going to go to my Arnold tab here. I'm going to select the skyline because it gives me this kind of a black background um, initially. And if I hit the play button now, what's going to happen is it's going to render. And you can see the eye on the right is clear and I can see the iris, but here you cannot see the iris because it is kind of black. Um, and that is because of a setting that we have to change. Let me go ahead and select this eye. I'm going to just close this for a second so it doesn't slow things down. Select that eye. I'm going to go to my attributes editor. And what I want to do first before I do this, because if I do it now and then I combine the iris and the sclera, it's going to, you have to go back in and redo it. So if I select them both, I'm going to combine them using my combine tool here or it's also up here under mesh and then combine. So with them com combined now I'm going to look through my tabs up here. I'm going to find the one that has Arnold in it. So this is my Scalera 3 shape and it says Arnold right here and you can see I already have the down arrow. It usually looks like this. I click on it, down arrow. Right here there is uh, it is defaulted to opaque. Uncheck that. Once we uncheck it, and then we go back to Arnold and render real quick, you'll now see that we can actually see through the lens, and that's pretty much it. We have a simple anime style eye. Anytime you want to adjust the pupils, you can go in and use that method I showed you. You can hide the outer portion of the eye, um, and then go ahead and adjust the pupil. So anyway, hope that uh, was what you needed, and I'll talk to you later.